and welcome to the tutorial area. <clears throat> oh, wow. Sorry about that. Tower entrance. And we meet more of our search party that came down to the ground with us. Dino and Ilya? I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Oh, and Shion. Who is, I believe, a head priest guy. And there are sirens going on outside that window. That's not important. And so... Hugo tells the priest that he can help his little students. We'll take care of the ones that uh, are facing us right now. This is basically, you know, your basic tutorial. Also, the Eyes of Fat, the uh, main weapon of Hugo, passed down from generation to generation. And that thing that came up on the screen was just basically telling me how to play, but it's giving me keyboard controls and I'm actually using an Xbox controller. So yeah, more of them show up. And this is talking about the boost mode, which for Hugo, it actually changes part of him. Besides, uh, he does more damage because he gets more eyes of fat. Um, another... The other character you get at the beginning of the game, uh, which we'll go over, uh, I'll do a separate let's play for her simply because she has a different story and boss battles are in different places and stuff like that. Anyways, she doesn't really change much and the third character changes as well. She's the only one that really doesn't change much, but... The more eyes of fact, the better. And this is just setting up more backstory. Hugo Fact was a magic prodigy, and uh, he's trying to be very humble. And looking for other members of the search party. And basically, this tower was built by demons in order to try and get to Solomon's Shrine in order to take the last bit of humans down. And that's basically the story we know up to here. Yes, the attack came from the tower. We saw that in a cutscene. And yeah. One thing I do like about this is that they do just kind of summarize, like, Hugo talked about what he talked about at the Rota Tree. So yeah. Once again, <clears throat> nothing really too important going on here. But, uh, they're gonna go out and search by the Rota Trees. Well, Dino is. Dino? It's going to go search out by the road trees. Hmm. And we are just going to go ahead alone. Screw safety in numbers, we're just going to go alone. And the crystal, which they will be explaining all of this in this little part here. These little demon statues right over here. They are... Uh, they are our save points. And they also work as a teleportation system. We take these demon statues and purify them. And they become goddess statues. Yeah. Uh, also, there is, uh, if you saw me picking up some, like, purple gem thingies on the ground, that is actually, uh, currency, pretty much. Uh, I believe it's called SP. Uh, there's a store you can also access while, uh, at the goddess 
statue, besides just saving and teleporting somewhere. And, uh, you can teleport to any purified goddess statue. That's a part of mark. But the, uh, store will let you buy upgrades such as increased damage, um... Less, uh, you take less damage from poison and stuff like that. Just general upgrades. I also believe movement speed, so you can run faster. Yeah. Not much else to say. And the Leah shell they gave us is basically plot device point. You can use it to talk to anyone in... Well, you can use it to talk to... Eola. I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyways. On to... We're gonna save. We're gonna... Not save here. These are all previous saves from me. And I won't be, I'll be cutting out the save screen from now on. Uh, one thing about using the Xbox controller is you can't access the uh, pause screen, but here is our first area of the game. Try and grab as much of the purple things on the ground as possible so we can buy upgrades later. Also, we do get experience from killing things, and we will eventually level up. And level up will give us better stats and stuff like that. So, not much to say besides killing shoes. Uh, these glowing red enemies... Uh, have to do with the chests right there. As you see, we killed that glowing red enemy, and the chest no longer has the energy barrier around it. If you do run into that energy barrier, it will harm you. And... I'm trying to access the menu screen right now, and I forgot that uh, you have to hit the escape key. And so... This increases my max HP. That's the first upgrade they give you increases your max HP. One thing I really don't like about that, though, is that every other kind of item you find in the game automatically happens, but you have to go into the menu each time you find a Pancrea. Pan I don't remember. I don't know what it's called. I'm terrible at pronouncing things. But, uh, you have to activate the, uh, maximum HP boost. I guess it's so you can, like, choose your difficulty more, but, uh... And... This will be... Oh, we'll kill these guys and our shield, and the shield around the box will go down. If I can kill him. That looks like an important treasure chest. And this is our actual first upgrade of the game, which is... The Cerulean Flabellum. When activated, it creates a shield around Hugo that protects him from damage and allows him to float after a jump. Uh, yes. Indeed. <clears throat> this is, in fact, the Force Shield. And... That's ba basically all I need to say about it, is what Blue Lotus said. Um, shield will protect us for a couple hits, and running into enemies with the shield will damage them. And... Let's see. Uh, yes, also... The, uh, the floating after a jump will be important for combat elements later on. You don't take fall damage, so the slow fall isn't really for that. You don't need to worry about that at all. But, uh, but there are jumping puzzles in this game, and the shield will make things a lot easier. And 
Oh, we'll go up here. And just kind of broke the shield for me. Uh, if I remember, I kind of failed kind of hard in this area. But, uh, our first jumping puzzle of the game. Not exactly hard, since we just got the shield. But I still think I failed pretty hard. Yeah, I didn't jump. Also, it'll just make you have a slow fall, no matter what. Also, eventually you could charge up the shield, and it'll last for longer, and uh, it'll be stronger, basically. You can charge up pretty much all of your special attacks. And we cannot go this way because it is locked up tight and we need a key. Hmm. This, uh... This game does have some kind of almost Metroidvania-y aspects, but there's very, very, very little backtracking. Like, I think we have to do it three times with the max. There I go, I was leveled up. You regain all of your health and mana. And... Next area. And... Scripted segment. And so... We fell into some sort of trap. Don't know exactly what it is. But, we have been set here. And there is a, uh, there's a save station right next to us. So, I'm gonna save, and then I'll see you guys in Hugo's Story Part 3 once this cutscene ends and I head to the save area. So, bye-bye.